When was the last time you added subtitles to your video on Final Cut Pro and then decided you wanted a more word by word style or even add a pop to them like Mr. Beast? Or perhaps you prefer a more natural speed style or maybe not just let your audience follow along word by word. Whatever it was, I bet it was really frustrating to do that within Final Cut Pro. You had to drag your entire project to a third party platform or pay a shit ton of money just to add styled captions. What if I told you that there exists a simple and easy method to create, customize, animate and export subtitles all within FCP? Hi, I'm Kalai and I'm here to show you a quick way to add subtitles to your videos in FCP and customize them the way you want using Echo Dolphin. First off, a very quick way to add basic subtitles. I'm creating a new project, demo video and inside I'm going to import media. I'm important. Let's have a quick look at how it looks. If you're looking to start or scale an Airbnb business in 2024. There we go. Now, on the top left corner, inside your plugins within the FCP, if you click on Echo Dolphin Beta, you get your user interface. In just three clicks, let's add subtitles to this video. Drop your file here for transcription. So I'm going to browse and open the video file which is the mp4 file. Here you can add either your video, audio or subtitle files in SRT formats, WAV formats, MOV, mp4, anything. In the second box over here, I'm going to drop my project. So the demo video project that we created just a moment ago, click and drag, click number two and then generate subtitles. So the very first time you do this, it's going to take at least five to 10 minutes because that's the time it's going to download the model and load it into your memory. So depending on your internet speed and RAM, this is going to take a bit. However, from the second time onwards, it will only take a couple of minutes to transcribe the video. So for me, it takes about 40 seconds to one minute for this small video. And I get three options over here, download SRT, which I can do if I want, import it back to FCP or close. So I'm going to import it to FCP and load it inside the untitled library we have. And let's open up this Echo Dolphin project that's come up. We can see that there are subtitles added as titles over here. Let's quickly play this and see. Okay, command A and command C to copy the whole subtitles and place it on top of our video file that we just loaded. So I'm going to select all of my subtitles and go to the formatting page over here and add an outline because that's the only way we'll be able to see this on top of the video. Increase. Now we have our subtitles looking like that. And maybe let's also bring down the position of the subtitles to the bottom half. It's your choice. So go to third icon over here, transform and inside position, click on the Y and you can scroll down um, wherever you want. Okay, that looks perfect to me. So let's now play and see how our subtitles look. If you're looking to start or scale an Airbnb business in 2024, you have at least five to seven hours a week. There you go, perfect. It took less than a minute to do what would have taken 40 minutes. Let's now add more jazz to it. Let me click on the plugin again. Now here, under styling tab, we have five different options. There's word by word highlighting or a box highlighting that happens, or there's a bold versus thin kind of formatting. There's a reveal and there's also Mr. B style. So for this, I think I would like to go more for a word background highlight. So in the styling inside the preset selection, choose word background highlight style. So all that we now did was upload the video, drag and drop the project. The source language and frame rate were automatically detected. And I just did one extra step to add word background highlight to this. So let's now generate the subtitles and import it to FCP. I'm going to replace what we had previously. So let's look at the, let's close and let's look at how this looks now. So there is a word by word highlight, perfect, but the size looks a bit off, isn't it? I'm just going to select all of the subtitles we have here, quickly reduce the size around 93. That looks good for me. So now let's copy paste this. Command A, Command C, go back to the project we are interested in, paste. If you're looking to start or scale an Airbnb business in 2024, you have at least five to seven hours. That's already a major upgrade. Now let's look at a slightly more advanced version. I want to customize the pre-existing title presets that comes with Echo Dolphin. Can I do that? Absolutely. Inside the fonts, 
inside the Echo Dolphin title presets. I'm going to click and drag the box background that we just used, but instead of using the orange background for every word highlight, I want to change it. So I'm selecting the title, going to the formatting button, and in the fill color, instead of orange, I'm going to choose something green over here that looks okay. Bring back the plugin, and now the same thing. Load the video. Let's drop the project we have here. Now, inside the preset selection, you don't have just the Echo Dolphin presets, but you also have the user presets, and that has this box background. And that's exactly what we edited some time back. So let me choose that and generate subtitles. And what's going to happen now is that the titles are getting generated, but when, they, when they're getting styled, it'll choose the style that you chose. So let's open the project you can see that your subtitles are in green paste them back to your project if you're looking to start or scale in every new business and there you go your customized title presets now i have demonstrated this with the title presets that come with echo dolphin but you can do this with any title preset that you have something that you preferred and styled on your own could be reused for multiple projects or you have downloaded or bought other animated subtitles from somewhere else now let's look at advanced customizations for the subtitles for this i'm going to add a new project and call it demo video 2 and in here Let's import the second video I have. So the demo video, I'm pretty happy with that clip. So I'm going to delete the rest of the chunk. I'm going to export audio from this video file. So click on export file. In settings, if you just do audio only, save it as just the audio file. When I open the plugin, instead of selecting the video, select the audio file drag and drop the demo video to the project. Project frame rate got automatically detected to 25. We do know that the source language is English. Use Mr. B style. In the advanced settings, I want to just show word by word. Let's not even split the subtitles by natural speech or punctuation. I don't want to merge any words. I'm just going to use split subtitle by word count to one. So which means each subtitle has a single word and I don't need any line breaking or line wrapping for this. Let me generate subtitles like that you can see the generated subtitle has word by word and you can import it to fcp and let's open the project and what we have here is a single word by word subtitle that goes on there are some punctuation marks like comma and full stop but i don't want them so i'm going to remove punctuation the one that's over here and i do that and generate subtitles you can see that the punctuation marks are all gone and now when you import it back to fcp All the punctuations are gone now. So you could split the entire subtitles by just natural speech and not care about word counts at all. Now what this will do is that the entire audio gets broken down by natural speech. It detects the pauses in the audio, creates subtitles and splits them accordingly. You want to start a new subtitle after every punctuation. Punctuation gets detected automatically as well. You want to do a little bit of line wrapping so that it breaks into different lines. If, if the subtitle length is long, I can have up to 42 characters. The line break should happen only at the end of the word and not anywhere that way let's generate these subtitles and you can see the natural speech style uh, let's look at how that looks let's copy and paste it back to our project to see how it works at that time i was a world champion swimmer with 18 gold medals to my name sometimes the number of words in the subtitles when you split them by natural speech is too many uh, if you don't want that you also want to split the subtitles by word count you only want a maximum of three words per subtitle there were often words like one word that's just hanging as part of a subtitle then merge it to the previous subtitle so merge under two words to previous subtitle again you can change these numbers let's generate now at that time i was a world champion swimmer with 18 gold medals to my name. It has a bunch of options where you can completely customize how your subtitles look. And there's also a way to remove the gaps between subtitles. If that's something that you want, you can remove gaps that are less than a set number of milliseconds or there's no gap at all. Like send the subtitle up to the beginning of the next subtitle that you can keep original gap. Whether you want to capitalize, lowercase, uppercase or remove punctuations. This massively reduces the boring work of adding subtitles and customizing them. And I really hope this tool helps 
helps you streamline your workflow as much as it did mine. Echo Dolphin Beta is now available for free trial. It comes with five really cool title presets, which is free for you to use forever. Along with that, you get to try the tool and give valuable feedback to how this tool gets developed in the future. So let us know in the comments what other useful features you would like to see in the tool and whether you would like to try this out. If you want to try out this beta version, head over to echodolphin.com. There's a link to that in the description box below. Happy editing.